Welcome to my channel. I'm Emma, and this is my sewing channel. So do it, Emma. This is where I talk all about patterns, fabric, and my dressmaking journey. So, um, today's vlog is long awaited. <laughs> Yeah, I've wanted to put one of those out for a wee while, but I don't know. Uh, this, that, and other got um, lost. But I'm here. Woohoo! So, first off, if you like this content, give it a thumbs up, this video, of course. Um, And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it and it would just make my day even better if you would subscribe and continue to get notifications blah blah for this channel that would be amazing and if you want to start a little conversation just comment um, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible so I hope you're doing all well let's get into it so first off before I forget because I usually leave it until the end of the video and you're probably maybe bored by that time. So yeah, so first off, uh, I'm wearing the Coco Wawa shirt dress. Um, it's the honeycomb dress. I call this dress my wisteria dress because of the wisteria on it. I think this is a very, very old liberty print. It's on a cotton lawn. And when Lisa Comfort of So Over It London used to do a little vlogs before So Over It London did their actual own, she used to come on and talk about her makes, what she'd been making, what she wanted to make, and all the rest of it. But she had the exact same fabric, I think. Um, <clears throat> and I was like, I love that. I went through a wisteria. Phase. I love Wisteria. So, yeah, I hunted it down on eBay and turned it into my honeycomb dress. I love this. I first, I think I was first wore it really in was that Sardinia when we went on the cruise. Bless. It was boy bacon, boiling, but it was bless. And then I wore it last year at Me 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 to the Bluebell Woods up in Perthshire area. And then today, um, yesterday I walked up to the Bluebell Woods near me. Oh, it was bliss. And then this morning I just thought of my wisteria dress and stroke honeycomb dress and here we are. Yes. <laughs> And that's me babbled on for two minutes about this dress. But I do like the Coco Barra dress. It's a lovely um, size inclusive pattern. It has a B and a D cup, if I'm right. And it goes quite big. So I will put the links to all the patterns that I talk about in the box below. And also any other information. Okay, so... First pattern is the Smitten Cropped Jacket. Um, this is from a Pattern Emporium. This is a pattern company that I think I found out about from the Dahlia Society, the lovely Kirsten. She talks about them all the time. I believe she's an uh, ambassador and also she tests a lot for them as well so yeah she talks a lot when they release patterns but the smitten jacket is a fabulous mix of traditional and trend and it's designed for woven fabrics with a nod towards a classic denim jacket it also features a crop 10 line full sleeve with wide gathered cuffed 
One was there to rest a hand gently elasticated him stand. It comes in sizes 4 to 30 and that's a uh, Australian size range or the UK size range. They're kind of very, very similar. Um, I will pop the size guide up as well while I'm talking. Um, yeah, and it has an easy but not oversized fit. And it pairs ba- back beautifully with so many styles. Um, it just shows in the photos. Um, there's another um more traditional look. They've also included a plain hem band and a shirt style sleeve with button up cuff, and you can definitely mix and match all the features. Next up is the Donnie shirt. This is from Freddie Pack and Company. I was asked to test this and I am so happy with it. The only snag is this Donny shirt was made out of a viscose crepe fabric and it grows. I should have done it the other way about, um, like cross grain, so it would grow down lengthwise. I think it would, would, would have been better, but hey ho, um, lesson learned. I still love it, it just it gets really boxy as the day goes on. But the Donny shirt comes in extra small to 7x, that comes out about 0 to 32, and I think that's US size. It might be a bit bigger in the UK size, but again, I'll pop, hopefully pop in um, graphics so you can see. I love this because it's got the collar band, it's a high-low hem, so it's high at the front, low at the back. Um, yeah, and it just uh, it just has really nice sweet quirks about this, and I've got a fair few more planned. <laughs> yeah, so I better get cracking. Next up is oh, this just swept me off my feet, and it's the Laura dress from um True Bias. This comes from a 0 to 18 to a 14 to 32. The Laura pattern is an empire waist dress with four views. All views have underbust gathers, a self-lined bodice and 12 loop buttons along the centre front. View A's and C have half inch spaghetti straps at the shoulders while views B and D have long puff sleeves. This dress is fitted through the waist and hips and has a straight fit through the skirt with the view A and B ending just above the knee and view C and D hemmed a couple of inches above the ankle. It uses quite a hefty amount of fabric but oh my goodness. Ah, oh, just bless. Chef's kiss. Aye, chef's kiss. So, moving on, we've got one from Paradise Patterns, or Paradise Patterns. It's a summer camisole. Um, this is comes with a built-in bralette. It's got low supports, thin straps, cropped or hip length. And it goes from sizes bust 28 to 58 inches. And it's reversible. So it is a tight fitting top for knits with elastic. It features a built in shelf bralette, front scoop neck and back straight neckline. You can switch it around to have the straight neckline in front if you like. Um, the neck and arm bands are half inch wide and fully enclosed. You can choose a hip or crop hem length and you can also make the bralette portion of the pattern to make a bikini or yoga top and it's geared towards advanced beginners so this would be a brilliant little one for summer but not all just for that you can also layer it up in the autumn winter so yay finally it's the paper cut patterns um yeah it's um 
another jacket pattern and it's called the Amy jacket. Um, they say it's the most versatile pattern you'll ever own. So let's see. It's the Emmy has a boxy easy fit for shape two piece sleeves. Choose between three different lengths. Cropped, a curved hem or long. Quite like the idea of a curved hem. The cropped and long lengths have can also have a drawstring hem. Mm, versatile. To add more versatile to this jacket, you can make it fully reversible or lined with either plain or elasticated sleeve cuffs. Choose between three pocket options, a welt pocket, an oversized angle patch pocket, or an oversized round patch pocket. The button up Emmy pattern comes with a collar pack consisting of four interchangeable collar options, a bomber, funnel, hood or classic collar. You can even make them all and swap them over depending on your outfit. So the paper cut sizes are 6 to 14 and they come in a smaller size range which is I think 1 to 8. So it overlaps slightly and that is approximate size 16 to 34 New Zealand and uh, UK over the 16 to 34. 14, uh, 6 to 14 sizes that paper cuts um, do. So that is 6 to 34 New Zealand or UK sizing. This jacket is a, oh, um, geared towards advanced source, so it's one for the time to just shine and just take your time and enjoy the sewing process, I hope. Now, I've taken a shine to paper cut patterns and I just love the Emmy. Like Emma, Alicia, and I, Emmy. So, yeah, that's my top five patterns of late spring, early summer. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and don't want to miss out. Obviously, hitting that notification bell. And if you want to, chat in the comments below hit that little comment button and like we ask me questions it doesn't have to be huge <laughs> okay i hope you are enjoying your sewing time it's getting bright in here even though i've got the blind down um yeah so take care guys have a good one and see you very very soon Ta -ta. It's really bright here. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Emma. And this is